welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again to bring you guys another news toy update. Thanks again to Hasbro and Litsky PR. They sent over their photos for the upcoming Shang-Chi movie, or Shang-Chi, as, uh, as Kevin Feige would say. Either goes. I've been saying Shang-Chi for a long time. If it's Shang-Chi, cool. I'm good. Either way. I, in either case, the movie trailer dropped, and it looks great. And I'm really excited to have another MCU movie. I don't know. I know, you know, the Mandarin and all that kind of stuff. But very vague. Iron Man 90s animated series is really how I know the Mandarin. <laughs> to be quite honest with you. But uh, yeah, let's get into it right off the bat. Now, before we get to the Marvel Legends, we are going to talk about all the kids toys and everything else that tie in to the movie. So just because, you know, you're just interested in the Marvel Legends, there's other toys for the movie. So if you're going to buy yourself Legends and you got some kids, maybe consider these. I don't know. It's up to you. But let's start it off with the 12-inch Titan Hero series. We kind of know how these go. These are like the shampoo bottle stuff, 10 bucks each. There are two to choose from, Shang-Chi and Wenwu. They'll be available at most major retailers coming up real fast. Most of this stuff is gonna is hitting. We've already kind of known about this, but for the most part, it's supposed to hit uh, April 25th, so this coming Sunday. So depending on when you see this video, yeah, Sunday is kind of like the major release date for all the movie stuff. And then this will be followed by, this is kind of interesting, you know, at least they're doing stuff with props and things from the movies. Legendary Ten Rings Blaster. So <laughs> it says kids can imagine their own adventure to claim their destiny with marbles uh, inspired by the movie, yada yada. They can blast five rings in a row without stopping. So it's an arm blaster, launches five rings, quick succession, keeps the action rolling can get moving energetic aim all that kind of stuff yada yada 20 bucks for that sucker if you want to give your kids basically a rapid fire <laughs> shooter disc thing for the wrist yeah, that's kind of cool whatever this uh, next thing is the battle fx bow staff 20 bucks okay as the battle for justice intensifies awesome sound effects so this is like an outside toy basically <laughs> Before long, the sounds of weapons clashing will be ringing in the enemy's ears, and victory will be inevitable. Advance to the next level, become a fighting master. It's outdoors, indoors toy. See? It already says that, right? It requires two AA batteries. Not included. Ah, come on. Most major retailer, if you want it. Now, I kind of had a good laugh. I had a good laugh at this, because, you know, when you first see it, I was like, oh, when Wu is Hydro Man, right? <laughs> No, 15 bucks. This is the six inch Wen Wu figure, part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wen Wu, martial arts expert, and Shang-Chi's father confronts opponents. Ten rings, power attack. He's got the ten rings, and he's gonna mess people up. Squeeze Wen Wu's legs, and the ten rings, power attack, strikes, release Wen Wu's legs, and he returns to his ready, deadly position, poised to strike again. Available most major retailer that'll be $15 if you're interested in that one and then you have to go with this guy so that guy fights and then you can have uh, Shang-Chi 15 bucks as well <laughs> I'm laughing at the prices some, some of these prices are I'm like eh, okay grasp the six inch Shang-Chi figure by the leg squeeze and the bow staff strikes with the lightning fast move release his legs and he returns to his ready, deadly position. Poised to strike again. Available at most major retailers. This, this one, this is the six inch battle pack. It's two pack. This was the one where I saw it before, you know, any announcements and all that kind of stuff. I was like, yeah. Again, I'm excited about the movie, but it's really one of those movies where I have to, I, I really have to see it to get to know that and how they're gonna, you know, I know the comic books and, and how he kind of, acts and what his role is but this it's gonna be different mcu so we'll see how it goes anyways again death dealer versus shang chi strikes with the roundhouse kicks again and again for loads of repeatable action-packed fun his kicks are quick it's easy to play with <laughs> grab leg twist torso and strike the nemesis is floored by the classic martial arts move roundhouse kick includes two figures 
20 bucks. You kind of have to have fun with it. I'm glad, just be just be glad there are tie-ins for movies these days, you know? Remember that? Remember movies? Man, those were fun back in the day. And then you have uh, the two-inch brick breakers minifigures. So now with every movie or every property, you always got things covered in slime, or you got to dig them out, or they're blind boxes, or you could just mash them all together and you got brick breakers, right? These are eight bucks a piece, and the excitement begins. Break open the brick breakers box with an adult holding the box. Kids can chop open the brick. That's kind of cool. I'll give them that, right? Just, <laughs> just don't leave it in the attic for like six years, and then be like, "Hey, kids, you want to play with this?" And they just bust their hand. Just like Shang-Chi in the movie, with a great big downward strike, kids release five two-inch minifigures per box. So that's cool, based on the characters from the movie. When the box breaks open, the fun continues. Opening the box is as fun as the Marvel movie character toys inside. 21 minifigures to collect, additional figures sold separately, blah, blah, blah. Major, most retailers, again, eight bucks. Uh, you know, in terms of a toy and playing with it, and, I mean, fun for kids, you know? Here, it, they kids see that stuff on tv I, I would do that i would break a bunch of those bricks that'd be that'd be kind of cool okay so now you can all relax we can talk about the marvel legends now <laughs> hey did you know that there's marvel legends based on this movie there's gonna be several of them they're in a wave with a hologram iron man and also was a game reverse patriot or something of that degree and you're gonna build Mr. Hyde. But first and foremost, this is cool. You got the Death Dealer. Out of all of these, Death Dealer is the one I want. That's awesome. That looks great. The makeup, the look of the character in the movie looks fantastic. You can get him in all kinds of crazy poses and such. He's got like the dagger. I wonder if those are the same. No, those are different. Yeah, I was gonna say the ones that uh, Hawkeye, the movie Hawkeye came with at one point. But yeah, no, those are cool. Uh, again, this this is the figure that I want the most. Very, very cool looking. And then you got Xia Ling. Uh, she is another character from the movie. And again, the costumes look good. Interesting. I, I don't know about these characters. So I'm just going to assume, yeah, she's very important in the movie. <laughs> but hey, at least in her packaging, she comes with a bunch of different hands. And like... Um, I would assume like a like a whip or something like that, but it's not. It's kind of coiled up already. So or it looks like Scorpion's weapon. You know what I mean? Maybe something like that. I don't know. Wen Wu is the next one. He comes with he comes with weapon, a couple different hands and such like that. So he's he's the dad of uh, of Shang Chi. He's got the armbands and everything else. My intentions are not to spoil anything, but I guess if you're watching it, I mean, you look at the things. There's, there's nothing going to be spoilerish in here because I don't know anything about the film but again nice detail nice deco on the figures yeah we'll see how the movie goes and then finally yeah you have uh, shang chi himself and he looks good i like the actor who's playing him similu um i follow him on instagram he's a cool guy he, i like uh, you know everything and they they released a trailer on his birthday i thought that was pretty cool uh that they did that yeah he comes with let's see what does he come with the staff extra hands piece of the the build a figure and then, just as an FYI, I'm sure, you know, depending on how the movie goes, perhaps we'll see more figures later down the road. But if, as far as outside of the initial wave of figures, this is the Target exclusive, Marvel's Katie, who people are saying it's another character. I'm not going to say the name, because again, I don't want to spoil anything. But she comes with bow and arrow and extra hands, and then... <laughs> Like an eagle dog thing. I'm, again, that's what makes me interested in the movie. <laughs> also, shout out to Talker Art. If you don't follow him or if you don't watch his YouTube channel, you definitely should. Because he came across the figure earlier. A bunch of people have. But uh, he sent over some photos. They're all now uh, street dated, register locked. So you're not going to be able to get them until the... Uh, the 25th, but she's listed in the Target computer as of now as the Bullseye action figure. It's not Bullseye from Daredevil. That's just the code name for her. It looks like she's going to be $23 DPCI 087 162617. And then I'll put the barcode right here if you wanted to go and grab that. So again, I, it's an interesting exclusive. I can't say that I'm like, oh, 
we'll see. I mean, the the monster, whatever that thing is, that's interesting. Alone, right? <laughs> and then. Shout out to Cal Tony OK. So he was at the Target in Lemoore, California. I wrote in, found this interesting thing. It's the the Great Protector. It's like a dragon. Kind of looks like a Mortal Kombat dragon, to be honest with you. But it looks like a giant dragon. That might go really well with some Marvel Legends figures. Not gonna lie. That's kind of cool. Not listed in the in the product stuff that they sent over, but um, that is very very cool i want that <laughs> and i want that with uh with the main characters and death deal with death dealer to ride that thing that's pretty cool also be sure to keep on lookout for the new modok figure again register locked all that good stuff here's the barcode if you need it and again thank you to talker arts for sending all these photos over he did not get them but and that's always a it's always a bummer right when you uh when you find them in stores and they're like uh -uh, no go hey did you know next monday well this coming monday i should say has repulse is going to have the fan first monday for marvel legends again and if you kind of you know do the math and all that kind of stuff what is it falcon and the winter soldiers was it ending or it's a mid-season ending probably see something to that degree also that trailer that ending shot with he's doing the the shang chi moves and stuff like that god that was cool i, I like that a lot i'm i'm excited to have i'm excited to go to the movies again please can we go to the movies again <laughs> oh man but hey i'm curious to know what you guys think about that new toys i know the kids ones are not for you be kind don't don't worry about it let's talk about the marvel legends i'm sure that's why you're all here but uh, for those out there that have kids and whatnot yeah might be something you would be interested in, or at least the kiddos, but I am going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to the movies, man, I can't wait to go back, but in a safe, responsible fashion, of course. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.